Hi there. So in a previous video, we discussed what being kind to yourself means and, you know, why it is important, how it changes your life, how, you know, it sort of makes why it is lacking in our lives. In this video, we are going to discuss how to be kind to yourself. And I mean, it sounds simple enough, but it's not because you might question, you know, you know, we keep talking about being kind to yourself, practicing self-compassion, but what is this self-compassion? Why, how do we practice it, right? So I'm going to just list down the things and you know how you could be implementing these things in your life. And these are things I have spoken about in the past, of course, because all of these things are always interconnected. But this is just going to give you a very clear idea in case, you know, being kind to yourself is something you struggle with, right? And so we're going to start off with the first one, which is self-care. And I mean, you knew self-care was coming, right? So self-care is anything at all. It could be anything that you enjoy. It could be a skincare routine. It could be a, you know, like some people enjoy like really hot showers. It could be a walk in nature. It could be reading a book. It could be a cup of coffee, just going out with friends, anything, whatever makes you feel happy whatever you feel like doing for yourself you know some people enjoy painting so much that could be a form of self-care that is up to you to discover what your kind of self-care is next we have challenge negative self-talk and this just means that all of us have an inner critic right we have this one voice in our heads that is constantly telling us that you know you did this wrong you did that wrong you should not have done that that's a problem you are a problem your skin's not clear enough your hair is too dry etc 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 right this also sort of bends into the self-esteem thing but yeah so you have to challenge it whenever you think of a negative thing about yourself like whenever something very negative pops up in your head and you're like oh you're unable to do this you're never going to be able to do this counter it with a positive affirmation tell yourself that no i did this which i thought was impossible right in my head i thought this thing was impossible too i did it so i can do this too so this is like a positive affirmation and so you're countering your negative energy the inner critic you're shushing them up and saying no you are wrong and this is just going to give you a boost in confidence as well not just like it's not just like kindness it's also going to help your confidence so so much so lift yourself up and do not tear yourself down because it's 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 a it's in our nature to feel like you know we're not doing enough we're never doing enough and we're never going to be doing enough at the end of the day Number three is positive affirmations. And now we're talking about self-love. And so just stand in front of a mirror, look into it and remind yourself of your strengths, your beauty and your worth, right? And just, just, and this is, and this is not, uh, again, this, this sounds, it, it's going to feel weird. Like when the first time you stand in front of a mirror and you tell yourself, you got this. Or you just tell yourself, oh, you look great today. You know, even in your head, you're saying this to yourself. You're going to feel, you're going to feel like you're being vain. You're going to feel bad. You're going to feel like, ew, ew, that's not a good look, etc., etc. But that is going to change your life. You need to understand that you are a masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece. Every single person on earth was created right by the creator and we are all individual masterpieces right and you have to believe it we have to believe it to really reach our full potential and the fourth one is going to be set boundaries i'm going to talk about setting boundaries that is something I struggle with as well. Like I have struggled with over the years and I thought I'd gotten better, but I've recently realized that, oh, I am, I have a long, long way to go. 
so yeah set boundaries it's okay to say no to things that drain your energy or don't align with your values you don't have to do everything everybody asks you to do in you know the this need of making other people happy you do not have to do that do not do it right protect your time and your peace it's not just about like your time as in physical time in your day or your just peace in your surroundings just even your peace in your head you need to you know they it's it sounds bad but if you need to cut somebody off for your mental health do it if somebody is getting on your nerves and talking to them really just aggravates you or gives you a headache stop talking to them ghost them or just tell them i cannot i'm sorry just set a boundary set a boundary we're going to work on setting a boundary together you know this is something i'm working on and we are going to discuss this further in a later video and last my favorite practice gratitude gratitude is something i have realized has really really changed my life it really changes your perspective on things you know when you take a moment each day and reflect on things that you're grateful for big small minuscule it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be like some amazing achievement you have to be grateful for you can be grateful for i don't know an ice cream you just ate but just just feel all of those things now gratitude goes hand in hand with romanticizing your life and i will tell you how you can develop like a more grateful attitude i those videos are coming those videos are coming i promise but gratitude has the power to shift your perspective and fill your heart with joy so gratitude is the one thing which i can assure you is going to change your life and it's just going to change your perspective on everything in life and you're going to start appreciating the little things and that is just going to motivate you further to do even more than you are right and so we just combine all of these things together and it's not going to come just happen like in with a snap of the finger right and i always say this self improvement is a journey all of these things being kind to yourself being respecting yourself all of these things they take time they take energy and they take consistency right and most times consistency isn't there because there are going to be days when you feel really bad and you don't want to be grateful and that is okay because progress is never going to look like this it's going to look like this so there are going to be good days there are going to be bad days and the good days will counter the bad days and that's all well and good right so this this specific video i want you all to sit down on the weekend take out an hour sit down and just actively practice these things start by doing it weekend to weekend just take out like 10 minutes in your day not even an hour take out 10 minutes in your day sit down and think of all of these things analyze your life we have a self analysis video which went up last week look at that analyze your life what do you want to change and practice kindness do yourself first of all forget everybody else don't be kind to anybody else just be kind to yourself be nice to yourself and remember you are worthy of love respect and kindness no matter what anybody around you says no matter how anybody treats you you deserve the best of the best i hope you guys like this video and until next time take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next one bye